the stunning Milky Way at night. Lost to most of humanity due to ground light pollution from streetlights, homes, and cars. But now astronomers are worried about another source of pollution. And it's coming from above. Satellites, mainly driven by SpaceX, which launches its Starlinks roughly twice a week. If you're launching like 10 satellites, fine, great, no problem. But if you're doing that every week, you can't just consider those 10 satellites you know, as an isolated thing, right? It's part of this larger cumulative impact. These satellites are designed to provide internet access around the world, particularly in remote locations, but they're interfering with astronomical research, both in the optical wavelength and in the radio wavelength, which allows astronomers to see what our eyes can't. SpaceX has more than half of all active satellites in orbit, 6,000, and are planning for a total of 42,000. If this satellite proliferation continues, then it is uh, a huge problem for, for science. It's a huge problem for being able to observe uh, the universe, to being able to uh, understand what's out there. SpaceX acknowledges the issue and is working with astronomers to make the satellites dimmer and quieter. Yet, the problems persist. A new study found that second-generation Starlinks are leaking electromagnetic radiation, which creates noise for radio astronomers. Three, two, one, ignition. Further complicating things, SpaceX isn't the only one launching these mega constellations of satellites. China is proposing 40,000 of its own. I think that we're just on an unsustainable path right now. I think that there's not, international coordination is not a priority on anyone's radar right now, and it's more like a kind of a Wild West space race situation. Runaway progress at the cost of what we see in the night sky and what we don't. Nicole Martellero, CBC News, Toronto.